shocking after knocking off reigning national champion Stanford. And tonight, sports anchor Kevin Lewis shows us why these Bulls are speaking a different language. The last thing Bulls head coach Jose Fernandez said in the huddle at the end of the Stanford game was pretty straightforward. He said Sidney Harvey for the win, so that's what we did. Sidney Harvey, five left, fires, hits! He called the play for me, he had confidence in me, and I knew my teammates had confidence in me, so I was ready for it. Harvey drilled the game winner, and the Bulls ended Thanksgiving week with wins over the reigning champs and number nine, Oregon. I think it definitely has improved our confidence. We know that we can compete with anybody in the country as long as we do what we're supposed to do. Are we doing everything every single day to be a top 10? Yeah, that, that's for me as coaches use, using that. It's good, really good for recruiting, but <laughs> we, re, we recruit differently anyway. Very differently. The Bulls roster includes 10 players who were born outside the U.S. And basketball is a universal language. Sometimes it was just like, I don't know how to say this, and I was just saying it in Italian, and people like Chris and somebody else was understanding what I was saying, and that was just so cool. Elisa Pinzon leads the team in minutes played and assists. So whatever language she's using, it seems to be working. Here, English is the first language, and I'm just saying it in Italian, and people are understanding me. So that was really, really cool. The Bulls are earning the role of the hunted, and they're just fine with that. I think we just got to take it day by day, take um, each team we play and prepare for them. We can't look ahead. We can't look back. They got to live up to it every day, in the weight room, in the film room, in the classroom and coming in and investing and doing and, and, and attacking each practice every day. In Tampa, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.